Okay, I want to make you another little quick and dirty video on the problem that we did today in class or started in class on the L'Hopital's Rule uh, because these are really the most interesting ones. So if you remember, we started with this limit as x goes to infinity of 1 plus 1 over x to the power of ln x. And because a 1 plus 1 over x term goes to 1, as x goes to infinity, and the natural log of x goes to infinity as x goes to infinity, that limit goes to something that looks like 1 to the power of infinity. And this is an indeterminate form, and I'm saying it's in disguise, because remember, um, Tiffany helped us with this in class, that the only time we can use L'Hopital's rule is there's got to be one of the indeterminate forms in a ratio. So what we're going to do is we're going to do some algebra steps to work on that so that we can get that into the form of a ratio. So our second step here, is that we'll go ahead and write the whole limit expression as y. And then our little trick to get this natural log introduced is we're going to take the natural log of y, which means we're going to take the natural log of the right-hand side. And I've skipped a step here. When I take the natural log of this right-hand side up here, that's going to bring that exponent down. And so we're going to end up with the natural log of x times the natural log of 1 plus 1 over x. Okay, so if we look at that, that's still not a ratio. So we're going to have to do one more little algebra trick to that. So I'm going to go to the new page. Let me copy this in first. Okay. And so now... What I'm going to do is I'm going to try to configure this right-hand side so that I can get something that looks like either infinity over infinity or 0 over 0. So I'm going to try this, and I'm just still working algebraically with this. So I'm going to say this is the same thing as a limit as x goes to infinity. And then the numerator is going to look like, um, let me try this one, um, natural log of 1 plus 1 over x. And then the denominator is going to look like 1 over ln x. So if we manipulate that expression algebraically, you see that you invert and multiply the fraction on the bottom. ln x goes back up to the top as it was. So I've just rewritten it. But I, my hope is that this will turn out to be an indeterminate form. And so it looks like that's going to work for me. Because if I take the limit as x goes to infinity, the numerator is going to go to something that looks like the natural log of um, 1 plus 1 over something infinity, so natural log of 1 divided by the denominator, which is going to look like 1 over the natural log of something that goes to infinity. And so the natural log of 1 on the top is 0, and 1 over something that goes to infinity is going to be 0. So if I rewrite it in this form, then I actually get something that looks like 0 over 0, and so I can apply L'Hopital's rule to it. So now it's just a matter of me taking my time and doing a good job with my derivatives. Okay, so let's be careful taking this derivative. So if you look at the numerator, I have the natural log of 1 plus 1 over x. That derivative will be first to the derivative of the natural log of some stuff, so that will get you the 1 over 1 plus x. 1 over x term, and then you have to take the derivative of the inside for the chain rule and the derivative of 1 plus 1 over x. And remember, the derivative of 1 over x is just minus 1 over x squared. All right, and then similarly, you have to take the derivative of the denominator, and so that natural log of x, 1 over natural log of x is the natural log of x to the minus 1. So the derivative of the natural log of x to the minus 1 will be minus 1, the natural log of x to the minus 2. And then the derivative of the inside, or the bottom part there, is going to be ln x, which is 1 over x. So that derivative is 1 over x. So you can verify those derivatives, but that's the derivative of the top divided by the derivative of the bottom. Okay, so now we need to do some algebraic um, simplification. So let me take this over to another page here so we have some space to work. Okay, so one of the first steps we're going to see is that we have a minus 1 over x 
square in the numerator and a minus 1 over x in the denominator. So all that stuff will cancel out, and that'll leave me with the 1 over x in the numerator. So I'll write that in red here. 1 over x is going to be in the numerator. And then we have in the numerator also, we have this term, which is 1 over 1 plus 1 over x. And so we can rewrite that as 1 over get a common denominator for the bottom of that fraction. That'll be x plus 1 all over x. So that'll do for the numerator right now. We'll come back to it in a minute. And then the denominator is just going to be better to write that as 1 over ln x all squared. Of course, I'm still taking the limit as x goes to infinity of that. All right? So I'll keep on going to new pages so that we can has space. That's still equal to. Put that there. So we've got ln of y is equal to, and then I paste this in here, it's equal to that limit, right? Okay, so now in the numerator, we've got a complex fraction here. So we're going to flip that. So we're going to get this is still equal to limit as x goes to infinity. And I've got now x over x plus 1. That gets multiplied by 1 over x. That looks good. Come get some simplification. And I'm going to leave the denominator as 1 over the natural log of x, and that's still all squared. This will be equal to the limit as x goes to infinity. These x's are going to cancel. That's going to cancel with that. And that's going to leave me with 1 over x plus 1 divided by 1 over ln of x all squared. I'll squeeze this down here. We're going to just still got one fraction divided by another, so we're going to invert that and multiply. So that's going to give me, that's all equal to the limit as x goes to infinity of the natural log of x all squared divided by x plus 1. And if I take that limit again, maybe I'm done, but if you notice, as x goes to infinity, the numerator is going to go to infinity, and the denominator is going to go to infinity. So I'm still in an indeterminate form, and I can use L'Hopital's rule on this again. So I'm going to have to hit it again with L'Hopital's rule. All right, so we're still working with the natural law. I'm sorry, working with... Um, yeah, natural log of y is equal to that. Okay, so now let's apply L'Hopital's rule again. And if we do that, we get the derivative of the top. So natural log of y is equal to the limit as x goes to infinity. Derivative of the top is going to be 2 times the natural log of x times 1 over x derivative of the outside times the derivative of the inside. And then the derivative of x plus 1 on the bottom is just going to be 1. Okay, so let's work to simplify. So this is equal to um, the limit as x goes to infinity of 2 over x times ln x. If we simplify this, we get that that's the limit. Okay, a little technical snafu. So I don't know where you got cut off. Let's go back just to make sure. So we were up here. We got the natural log of y is equal to the limit as x goes to infinity of 2 times the natural log of x times 1 over x divided by 1. That was from differentiating the line above, applying L'Hopital's rule again. After simplification, we got the limit as x goes to infinity of 2 over x times ln x which is the same thing as the limit as x goes to infinity of 2 ln x over x. And we see it. That's an indeterminate form again if we take that limit, which is infinity over infinity. So we're going to apply L'Hopital's rule one final time, I hope. So I just rewrote it here, and now I'm in the process of taking that derivative um, for the L'Hopital's rule. So natural log of y is equal to the limit as x goes to infinity. The derivative of the top is 2 over x. The derivative of the bottom is just 1. So this is equal to the limit as x goes to infinity of 2 over x. 
And as x goes to infinity, 2 over x goes to 0. So you see I have the natural log of y is equal to 0. Remember that y was the original limit, so I need to get y back out because I need to solve this for y. So if the natural log of y is equal to 0, if I make both sides of that equation the exponent for e, e to the natural log of y, we know that's y, and that's got to be equal to e to the 0, which is 1. So this tells me that the limit as x goes to infinity of 1 plus 1 over x to the power of ln x has to be equal to 1. And I've solved it.